Hey everyone, in today's reading we're going to take a look and see what the tarot cards would like for you to know at this particular point in time. This is going to be a general reading, but it's a reading for those of you that are going to resonate with it the most. It's not going to be a reading for everyone, so if you find that it's not resonating, don't try and force it, it just let it flow. Um, also, for those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Email is going to be listed below. Let's begin with your messages. At the bottom of the deck is chariot to the person that i'm connecting to i feel like there's something very important that you need to hear the, sh the message that i'm picking up for you is that when you when you love yourself when you treat yourself with respect when you recognize that you are someone who's worthwhile and you are someone who's valuable um, and that just exactly as you are, you are going to get the same in return. You are going to recognize respect. You're going to recognize love, trust, and care in other people and in other situations. Because you have that within you. You're going to recognize a relationship. You're going to recognize a friendship. Um, with all of those qualities because that is something that's already within you you need to take the time to figure out especially right now you need to take the time to figure out what your emotional needs are and how you can meet your emotional your mental your spiritual needs with loving habits okay with loving actions with things that give you purpose with things that nourish your soul with things that make you come alive the quality of your life right now is changing the quality of your relationship or the quality of your situation exactly as it is right now at this particular point in time as we're doing this reading it is changing it's changing because you're changing it's changing because you are responding, you're starting to respond very differently to people around you because you're starting to recognize that some people are not bringing you the love or they're not treating you with the care and the respect and the attention that you deserve. Whereas before you may have failed to recognize that. But because you are starting to respect yourself more, you're starting to trust in yourself and in your actions more, you're starting to recognize it more in yourself. But more importantly, you're starting to recognize it in other people, especially when it's being mirrored to you in other people or in other situations. You are becoming, you are beginning to attract more of the good stuff in your life. And you're beginning to repel some of the not so good stuff in your life because the changes so your situation is changing because you are changing you are responding to what you're recognizing you're learning to take care of yourself what's interesting is i feel like there's something here that you're leaving behind could be a relationship you may be leaving a relationship that didn't ever really exist or perhaps still doesn't exist could be a romantic relationship it could be a, a relationship with a family member or a close friend the thing is 
you are letting go of someone that I feel like you've never had a relationship with in the first place. That could be due to your overactive imagination. That could be due to your very intense feelings. But this person whom I feel like you are so emotionally invested in, whether it's a romantic energy, whether it's a family member, whether it's a relative or a close friend or a close, close worker, the old you, okay, not the new you, not the, not the you that you're becoming, not the more authentic version of you, but the old you created an illusion where You imagine this person to be a big part of your life or a big part of the equation when in equation when in reality they were not you were keeping your head up in the clouds when you should have been keeping your feet firmly on the ground the issue was or is about you letting go of those emotions you letting go of your obsession or you letting go of a the illusion or the drama you may have been projecting some negative emotions on this person or some of your own negative emotions on this person or on this relationship or on this uh, person and you may you may have felt as though or you perceive that this person feels very similar to what you feel maybe this is someone whom you wanted to notice you in some way maybe it's just majority of this stuff was in your head even though you, you haven't really communicated with this person uh, very often I don't think that you actually wanted to be in a relationship with this with this person I just feel like you may have been emotionally unavailable And now that you are learning to recognize the self-love, now that you are learning to recognize truth, now that you're learning to recognize and accept, you know, uh, trust, respect, self-love, care, now that you're, you're recognizing and embracing and accepting all of these qualities, you're rejecting your illusions, you're rejecting your perceptions, you're rejecting your mistruths. And this is why you are letting go of this relationship, because it didn't exist in the first place. It's a lot to process, it's a lot to take in, but to the person that I'm connecting to, you are awakening. You are being wakened. You're being awakened up from some sort of slumber, and you've kind of been sleepwalking. You have been unaware of just how hurtful um, or how damaging some of your illusions or some of your perceptions have been because they feel like they're projections of insecurities or they're projections of your illusions. And you're letting go. I feel like you are letting go you are letting go of those projections you are letting go of those insecurities you are letting go of those uh you're letting go of that pain you're letting go of something that didn't exist i'm not saying that this person wasn't real the you know, this person may be very real and this is someone who may be very present in your life. But your feelings weren't reciprocated with this person. There was no reciprocity here. There was no reciprocal energy. And I feel like you've been trying to get this person to reciprocate. For quite some time I feel like you've been trying to get this person to respond but it's it's kind of it's been a bit crushing because for whatever reason this person just hasn't been able to reciprocate and it's left you in a self-destructive pursuit of pain 
hurt and rejection. You're ending all of that. This is something that you're ending. This is something that you're letting go. This is something that you are leaving behind. Because you are awakening, you are taking things at face value. If someone doesn't want to communicate with you, if someone doesn't want to call you, if someone doesn't want to text you, if they don't want to respond, you're no longer waiting for someone to reach out. You're no longer waiting for someone to speak to you. You're not waiting for them to make a move because you're playing a game of chess. This isn't what, this is real life. This isn't a game of chess. And so you are awakening to that fact. You are, you're having the spiritual awakening where you're taking things as they are, not as you imagine them to be or not as them, or not as you wish for them to be. You realize that while you, whilst you were so busy daydreaming about your life, you were missing out on living your life, on living the life that you wanted. You have spent so much of your energy, so much of your energy, and so much of your time and effort and your emotion on wanting people that maybe, in choosing people that maybe didn't choose you. Or on choosing things that didn't choose you. And then you wondered why your life felt like a standstill. You wondered why things felt so stagnated for you. You're at a point where you no longer want to overcomplicate things. You're at a point where you're taking things at, at face value. You're at a point where you no longer... You are still helping people, but not to the point where you give everything of yourself away. You make sure that you fill your cup first before you're able to fill anyone else's. You know, you still take advice from others but at the same but at the in the same vein you still stay strong in your opinions you are realizing that you are in the driver's seat of your own life you're taking back your power you're coming back you're rejecting any fantasies or any daydreams that you've had around a certain situation or around a certain person you're rejecting that in your gaining perspective where I feel like you're stepping you're finally step awakening you're finally seeing people for who they are you're finally seeing situations for who they are and you're getting to the heart of something you're also not going back where you are at now I want to warn you this is the point of no return once you see someone for who they are, you're not going to unsee it. Once you see someone's true colors, you cannot unsee it anymore. Once you see the truth of a situation, you cannot unsee that too. You are not going to go back. This is the point of no return. You are not going, you're not going to go back to any self-destructive ways. You're not going to go back to any unhealthy ways. You're not going to allow yourself to become emotionally manipulated or to become used you're not going to engage in that kind of behavior you're not going back because you're healing and you cannot heal in the environment that has made you unwell in the first place this you're moving forward you're at a point in your life and to the person that i'm connecting to This will resonate very strongly with you because you will know what it is that I'm talking about. You have experienced a significant shift. You're experiencing a significant awakening in your life. And you're responding to this awakening. Even if you quite entirely understand what's going on, you're responding to this awakening. You're responding to this shift because you are ready. You're actually ready to receive this message. If you're not hearing me or if you're not understanding or if you're not resonating then this mess this message might not be for you just yet everyone's on a different journey but to the person that i'm connecting to to the person that i'm speaking to this is your message and you are so ready to receive it 
and you are standing on the threshold of what feels like a brand new world, what feels like a new cycle, what feels like a new chapter, what feels like a new you. Remember, once you step into this world, there is no going back. There is no undoing. There's no point. There's, there's a point of no return that you cross over. You cannot go back to the old you. The old you is going to be like shedding skin, like shedding layers. It's gone. And you can only move forward. That won't scare you. That won't scare you because why would you want to go back to anything that was un unhealthy or destructive? Why would you want to go back? Why would you want to look back when that's not where you're going? You're moving forward. What you're doing right now is working. I don't know what you've been doing, but it's working. Keep working on yourself and keep moving forward. Especially for those of you who have experienced some sort of standstill in life. That stagnation is coming to an end. You're going to experience a lot of movement. You're going to experience a lot of newness in your life. You are letting go of a relationship or you are letting go of a situation that might have never really existed. And in doing so, you are creating room in your life. You're creating space in your life for the new you. And the new you has sh is shedding your skin. The new you is someone who's destined to be great. The new you is someone who's destined to be successful. The new you is someone who's destined for love. Someone who's destined to be in a relationship that is healthy, that is trusting, that is loving, that is supportive. Um, the, the, you are destined for, you are destined to have it all. You are destined to have everything that you want. You are destined to live the dreams your dream life, you're destined for greatness. And you're finally putting yourself on that path. You're finally aligning yourself with your soul purpose. You have been given this gift for a reason. You have to find, you either have to repurpose this gift that you have, or you have to find a way to share it with other people. Okay, guys, and I'm going to leave the messages there. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing, or subscribing. Keep shining your light. Bye for now.